Hi guys, and welcome to my review of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier Episode 2. So in this episode, we get to see the new Captain America, which, man online, people are being worse than him. <laughs> Jesus. Because fans are not really happy about, you know, there being a new Captain America and, you know, Sam isn't the new Captain America. Yeah, and basically, I guess Bucky in this episode is kind of talking for the fans with how they feel. I mean, if he's a good guy, then I'm not really going to find it a big deal. But yeah, I don't really blame the fans because the legacy was supposed to carry on from, you know, Sam, which I still think is going to happen. Maybe by the end of this show. I mean, I'd be shocked if, you know, Bucky ends up with the shield since. Yeah, I don't I just don't know how that would go. Like, no way by the end of this, like. I don't know about in the future as well, because I don't know how long um, this, the actor of Bucky would want to, you know, be in the Marvel movies and stuff. So I don't know if he'd be Captain America. Say Sam's been Captain America for a bit and then he gives the title to Bucky. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, ha I'm just happy that we got to see him, you know, together finally in this episode, working together, <laughs> being a <laughs> funny duo. And not really getting along that kind of relationship, lol. Butting heads a lot. But they kind of find like a ground to, you know, deal with each other. Since they got a bigger situation going on, which I guess I'll talk about the villains since more of the plots kind of revealed about them. Black Smashers are trying to steal these things to, you know, achieve their goal. Because they're basically trying to make the world how it was, you know, before. You know, before the blip, before everyone, you know got snapped away from Thanos. Because since everyone's came back, it's kind of made things really complicated for them and they're kind of giving more care to the people who came back from the snap instead of the people who were already here. So they're trying to make a difference when it comes to that, I guess. I mean, I still don't fully understand the plot, but yeah. It just seemed like some people actually view them as the good guys and you can kind of see why if how the people who, you know, have who wasn't a part of the blip you know, are getting treated right now, so some people do view him as the good guys, and in a way, I mean, does Sam in a way kind of view him as good guys? But, you know, they still need to be stopped for what they're doing. I mean, both Bucky and Sam, you know, were a part of the snap as well, so maybe they can understand where they're coming from, but, I mean, Bucky, he just, he just yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, we do get to meet, uh, is it Kali? I think that's her name. I mean, she seems like innocent at first, but I already knew she was going to be a part of the Flag Smashers and our hostage when, you know, they get to the base to stop them from stealing their stuff, the supplies. And then we get, like, a cool fight scene. And we, get, we also get to see the new Cap Captain America, you know, helping him out, which I guess I should talk a bit about him. So, yeah, the new Captain America. He's definitely very skillful and... I mean, he was never going to match the personality of the original Captain America. I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say this guy's cocky. I mean, he does seem like a good guy, but I don't know. There's just something about him that doesn't feel right. And I, I definitely see where the fans are coming from, even before he even spoke. Like, I could kind of tell how fans felt. I guess um, Sam and Bucky don't really like him. Like, he doesn't feel like he earns the title of Captain America. Even though he does seem like a good guy and he, and he has served in the army and stuff. so And he's achieved a lot of great things. And he's, I guess, fit to be Captain America. And he's trying to live up to this um, legacy that Captain America's left behind. But he's not. he basically says that he's not trying to replace him. He's just trying to be, you know, just the best that he can be as Captain America. And that he kind of respects what, you know the previous Captain America did and he just want he's basically molded his um I guess most of his life to be like Captain America someday. I don't know if he knew like he was actually gonna achieve this but yeah. <clears throat> but now he's Captain America and yeah I just it's curious to see what fans think about him. So yeah when I get online I'll I'll know soon. Also his partner is it Lamar? <clears throat> I think he's like a reference to the comics. I mean, I haven't really read those comics with this character. But yeah. I can't really say much about him. He seems alright though. 
seems like a good ally for the new Captain America, Walker. Because that's his name, Walker. But yeah, just right now, you know, Bucky is really basically angry at Sam and Walker. You know, with, you know, Sam giving up the shield to Walker and then Walker actually having the shield and doesn't feel, who doesn't feel like, like he deserves it. Because, you know, in um, Bucky's mind, like, the shield was given to, you know, Sam. And since Sam just gave it away just like that, and then, I mean, he didn't give it away. He just didn't want to accept it. And then straight away, like, this guy just comes and takes it. Yeah, I, I know where it's coming from because it just feels like he, he kind of betrayed, well, like Sam betrayed Captain America in a way and then given his legacy to this guy. And then, you know, basically everything he's ever trusted into someone, like he feels like it was all a lie now. And also, you know, giving Bucky a second chance, like would that make it a lie too? He kind of says stuff like that. But yeah, I know, he's kind of going a bit too far there because... To me, like, like Captain America's always made the best choices. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's way, way, I'd say, like, nah, Captain America's made an awful choice compared to Iron Man, which, yeah. I mean, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but, yeah. Iron Man made a lot of bad choices that kind of created a lot of the villains, yeah, <laughs> in the MCU. <clears throat> but, yeah. I mean, they're both legends, but, yeah. <laughs> you have to say it. So yeah, I don't hate him, I don't love him, but I mean, it seems like he'd be okay Captain America, but would he still be around by the end? Will the pressure get too much to living up, you know, as Captain America be too much for him and he just gives the shield back to Sam or something? I mean, we're just going to have to wait and find out because in his first fight, you know, when he was, when he was trying to fight those super, super soldiers, like, you know, that, that didn't really work out. I mean, he did, he did build up a good fight for... The most part, but you know, he does get defeated by Kali and her people. And I guess by the end of the episode, when they're trying to escape, you know, when I guess should I say police or something find them? Like they do lose one of their members, and you, you can kind of see Kali, you know, crying in the you know in the plane. <clears throat> so it seems like in the way they're trying to make us care about the villains, which you know is something that the MCU has done a lot these days. Yeah. I mean, what, what was the first villain that they actually tried to make us care about in the MCU? I mean, Riplash could have been the first, but they just what him so on. Yeah. I mean, if they did it, why? Like, oh, I just, I just, like, Riplash is a character I wish would get a second chance, but, you know, he's dead, so <laughs> you can't really do that. Yeah. I mean, if, if we got, like, the writing that we have these days for MCU villains, like, Riplash, man, my God, like, he probably would have been one of the best. It just sucks that they brought him in Iron Man 2 and didn't save him for later or something. Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about Azaya, which I guess Bucky introduces him. What? Well, Bucky introduces Sam to Azaya. Basically, he was like a super soldier like um, Captain America, but he's kind of like an underrated one, though. Since basically, this guy actually defeated the Winter Soldier and took off half of his arm back in 51, 1951. But then, like, some for some reason, he gets locked up, which, like I said, I don't really know much about this character. And then the way how some reacts to that, like, when he finds out, probably in, like, racist times as well, they just locked him up and just did exper experiments on him for 30 years. Like, Jesus Christ, man. And who knows what they did to make him stay silent all this time. I mean, maybe he just wanted to move on, and so they don't lock him up again. Like, I mean, who knows what he went through. But why does Bucky introduce him now, though? And all these super soldiers that we're seeing now, I mean, it's not related to the ones that we saw in Civil War in those, you know, pods. Well, it seems like they've always had other super soldiers after Captain America anyway. So Captain America was never the only super soldier. They did more afterwards. Yeah. And man, this is one where he could have been the next Captain America. But instead, he ended up here. <clears throat> I mean, he doesn't really have the same level maybe as Captain America because, you know, you can see that he's aged. But, yeah, unless he did it when he was younger, but I don't know. <clears throat> Character to see where that story goes. That's a definitely interesting story. And they also bring back a Civil War villain. So, yeah, at the end, they bring back Zemo, which I was thinking, like, are they actually going to bring him back in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? 
and, th- and it looks like we're going to see him in episode three, which is cool. I mean, this guy, this is the guy who caused everything that's happened after Civil War. Because he's the one who broke up the Avengers. And since the Avengers weren't together when Thanos arrived, like, Thanos just had an easiest, like, an easier time to take out the Avengers and get the Infinity Stones. Because if most of the Avengers were together, yeah, they would, like, Thanos would have got defeated. And this is, this is a weaker Thanos compared to that other Thanos. I mean, like, if those may be fighting that other Thanos... Hmm, would they still lose? I mean, I'm not sure, but the Thanos that they actually fought in Infinity War, he he would have lost if the Avengers didn't get, you know, separated. So, I mean, I blame everything that's happened, you know, on this guy, Zemo. Like, what happened with the Avengers losing in Infinity War? Like, it's all, it's all this guy's fault for, you know, separating the Avengers and everything that happened. Yeah. But then, I don't want to... Oh, I don't want to say it again, but, you know, Iron Man... I mean, well, it's... I mean, those bombs, you know, which caused everything happening in Sokovia, you know, not the bombs. I think I'm getting mixed up with um, Scarlet Witch's um, storyline. Sorry. I mean, everything that happened in Age of Ultron, because I think his family got killed in Age of Ultron when he was fighting, you know, Ultron. So he wanted to get revenge on on the Avengers by separating them. And then he was going to like, after he achieved his goal... Like, I guess he was going to kill himself, but then, you know, Black Panther stopped him. And then he's just got lo- locked locked back up, basically. Because he's the one who made the Winter Soldier go on the rampage and kill Black Panther's, you know, father and all that. Which, you know, you know that's old information. But yeah, it's going to be cool to see him again in episode three, which will be next week. And I can't wait for that. But yeah, I guess I'm going to end it here. Definitely a good um, episode. Some cool fight scenes. I guess um, Falcon's little bird got destroyed, so they're probably going to have to rebuild that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We heard, like, a funny line when Bucky just wanted to destroy it so much, but then, you know... Was it, like, Kali the one who destroyed it? Or was it some one of the other members? I'm not sure, but, yeah. Definitely a good episode. Yeah, I'd, I'd wait, like, um, 8.9 out of 10. Yeah, 8.9 out of 10. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs>